right? All right, so this car, awesome Chrysler 200. Sorry, the biggest piece of junk we've come out in a long time. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, it came in with a bad battery. It's got 45,000 miles on it. It's got the original factory battery in it. It had a no start, no crank issue kind of a thing. It needs a battery, it had a bunch of other codes in it. So we put a battery in it, but anytime you replace the battery, as far as I'm concerned, you need to do a battery draw test. You need to make sure that other than the battery just being bad because of age, it wasn't something in the car taking the battery down. So whenever I replace the battery, I do what's called a battery draw or parasitic test. And this is how you do one of those tests. Now, I just watched a YouTube video yesterday and I know he gave the wrong information out. Your amp meter needs to read 0 0.035 amps or lower for it to pass. If it reads 0.35 amps, you have a draw. You are not done. Your amp meter cannot say 0.35. It needs to say 0 0.035 amps. So good, bad. You want it, to, want it to read this number. So anyway, this is how you set it up. This is not a hard test at all. So you get your amp, your DVO amp, whatever. Um, I like this one. You put it on that setting, you take your lead, which is usually here, and you take it out and you put in the amp one, you got your ground. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna set up one here. The key in the ignition needs to be off. Do not turn on the ignition while you're doing this, or you'll blow the fuse in your amp meter and then you'll be really, really frustrated. But as you can see, and then you just connect it to the other side of the battery. And we're gonna wait for it. See, now I'm on the right side. So this needs to say 30.035 or below. And so now I'm waiting for the, the bus, the communication, all every all the modules to go to sleep in the car. And on some cars, it take 10 to 15 minutes. On this car, it'll probably take less than two. Um, we're already pretty pretty close to where I wanna be. But even this, this is still too much. This is too excessive of a draw per Chrysler standards and a lot of other manufacturer standards. And you'll see like modules are switching on, switching off, but you see something else switched on, but this needs to say 035 or below. So it looks like some more stuff shutting off. So we're still in our target area, but it's still going. You're still gonna watch it go. But this is what you need to read, okay? 0 0.019 is below 0 0.035, so you are good. We don't have a draw, which means the battery is gonna be fine for a long time. The car is not causing the issue, it's just a bad battery. Um, that is how you do a battery draw test in the simplest form. I put this rag here just so I know that this won't touch that because that can screw things up. But that is how you set it up. Uh, somebody else said to uh, you can use either one, but he recommended using the, neg the negative battery terminal and I recommend doing that as well. Uh, but that is how you do a battery draw test and that's how you're making sure that the car is not causing the battery draw and killing the battery and we were at 0 0.009 amps which it passed so a successful repair this is another chrysler tech video